I love my modular buildings. They are the real highlights of my LEGO collection and they serve as the centerpieces for my city. However, it's painfully obvious how expensive these things are. I bought them before the price hike of 2022 and even then I spent over $800 just to get four buildings. If I wanted to expand my city and not put myself in debt, it was time to get creative. So after much deliberation, this is what I came up with. I made a mini modular, a standard which I would be happy to use as a template moving forward for many of the buildings in my LEGO city. As you can see, I started with a 16x16 16 16 base using plates I had in my collection. For the sidewalk and curb, I copied the style of the modular buildings and found that giving it about 8 studs of space worked pretty well for me. It looked pretty decent when next to a full size modular as well. Each floor is approximately 7 bricks in height and uses a combination of 1x1 to 1x4 bricks in interlocking patterns for the walls. Like any modular building, the different floors can be removed and replaced as needed with uh, tiles and 1x1 plates to make the sections easy to remove. Now speaking of easy to remove, one of the features I always wanted to see from the official modulars is the ability to easily remove the back wall. So of course, I built this feature into my own creation. This allows me to easily reach inside and customize the interior while also giving me an awesome vantage point to enjoy the scenes I create and even to photograph them. Now as you might have noticed by looking inside, there isn't a lot of room in here. And I really wanted to take advantage of what little real estate I had. So things like traditional stairs were out of the question, but I still wanted the minifix to have actual access to the different floors, so I introduced a ladder system into the building. It works well enough for my purpose and is fairly unintrusive, especially since I can easily fold it upwards when not in use. Overall, I'm very pleased with this design and I'll use it a lot when I'm building my city. But here's the million dollar question. How much did it cost to make it? Well, this building cost me approximately less than $30, and I was using pieces that I already owned. And here's a second one, a Chinese takeout, a more complex building. It only cost me about $45 to piece together. Now, even if they cost more than this moving forward, I think that's pretty affordable compared to an official modular. And really, I do love this style of mini modular, and the best part, is with this system I can mix and match elements from different buildings and make unique combinations which is really handy for freeing up space in a growing LEGO city. For more ideas and inspiration check out this other video. I'll see you there.